Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how to change a septum. I have a few different kinds of jewelry I want to show you guys. Obviously, I can't show you guys all of the different kinds of jewelry that they have, but I'm going to show you two or three kinds of jewelry that I usually wear and people usually pierce with if you're new to changing your septum jewelry. I know these videos are really helpful to you guys. My last two nose jewelry changing videos were really really popular so I figured I would do one about my septum. Before we get into the video I do want to mention a brand really quick. I'm not sponsored by them at all. They just sent me these products to try out and to mention to you guys if you want to check them out. The brand is Teamy and I ordered the superfood greens from them because I do not get enough greens in my diet and so this was perfect for me to throw in my smoothies every single day. This powder is really really good for you and it's a great way to get in greens if you don't eat enough greens like I do. You can either put it in smoothies or as I have right here that I am sipping on is just water with the greens powder and a little bit of lemon juice. I also did send me this tumbler in the color of my choice which was black. I do have a discount code with them for 25% off and if you guys want to click the link in the description box it takes you straight to the website and you get the code automatically which is awesome. So please do check out my social media in the description box down below and I will also have my handle here up on the screen for Twitter and Instagram if you want to go follow me on there for daily posts. Before I do get into the video though make sure you hit that subscribe button down down below if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell right next to subscribe if you want to get notified every time I post a new video and hit the thumbs up button if this video is helpful to you or if you just enjoyed it and let's get right into the video. So I'm going to start off with the one that I have in my septum right now and this is a hinged segment clicker. So what that means if you don't know what those are, they are a full hoop and what they have is a hinge on one side and on the other side there is a seam. I hope you guys can see that. I know it's really small. And so what you do is you just pull up on the part that has the seam and then obviously take it out or remove it, whatever you're doing, and then you click it back into place to get it closed. So pretty much with this, you have to spin your septum ring around and this one is the one that opens. So what you want to do is you just hold this side of the nose ring and then the other side of the seam and you pull apart like that. And you can do uh, this with gloves, helps a lot, especially if your hands get sweaty so that you don't slip and slide all over your jewelry. But uh, I just prefer without gloves because they tend to get in the way for me. But if you do have a problem gripping your jewelry, I would highly recommend a pair of gloves. And then to remove it, obviously, all you have to do is just slide it out. So as you can see, it just clicks, opens like that, and to get it back in... You can, um, usually it's easy to feel where your hole is with the jewelry, but if you can't, you can look up into a mirror and see where your hole is and put the jewelry in. But for me, I usually just kind of feel around with the jewelry, slide it through, and then same thing, push on one side while you're holding the other side, and that jewelry's in. The next kind of jewelry I'm going to show you is a horseshoe. Now, most piercers pierce with horseshoes for the initial septum piercing, and so this is probably what most of you have in if this is your first time changing your jewelry. So these are really, really easy. I mean, unless your piercer puts the beads on really tight, it should be pretty easy to get off. But again, if the beads are on really tight and you can't get them off, just wear a pair of gloves and it'll grip the jewelry a lot better. So with these, all you do is you turn the ball, turn it... To the right the ball will come off and you have threading on the jewelry and then depending on the type of jewelry you have the threading is either going to be on the piece of jewelry or on the ball on this one the threading is on the jewelry itself all you have to do with the horseshoes is the same thing as the clickers you just find the hole and then once you have it just slide it through and then this is the hard part <laughs> is getting the bead on so what I like to do is take the ball so that you can see it, the hole or the threading depending on the type of jewelry. And then you're just going to match that up with the barbell. So I'm just going to turn it. As you're holding the jewelry, you're going to be turning it this way. So away from your face. Since it's kind of weird since the jewelry is not, you know, perfectly level. You're not turning right or left really. You're turning out. <laughs> so like away from your face. If that helps, I know that 
might be even be more confusing, but I hope that makes sense. But yeah, right to tighten and then left to loosen. So that's pretty tight on there. And then you have that jewelry in. To get the jewelry out, you're going to be turning it left, but from your perspective, it's going to be to the right. So you just turn it like this. And the ball should come off pretty easily. Like that. And then you can just turn it, twist it to get it out. If you do have a clicker kind of jewelry that's not a full hoop like this, but it has a design on it, usually they're like, f they have the bar on the top and then like a design here. Those ones are the exact same thing as the hinged segment clickers. Same premise, they just pop out one side, you put it in and pop it back into place, but they are a lot more difficult than the hoops because you have to pop it in and out from inside your nose. So if you do have one of those, I'm sorry I don't have a piece of jewelry to show you, but I just don't wear that kind Kind of jewelry but like I said it's the same thing as the hinged clicker hoops they just click out of one spot you put it in and then click it back into place and same thing to get it out as well I hope this video was a little helpful to you guys I know it can be quite challenging to change certain types of jewelry especially if the beads are on pretty tight but now that you know exactly what to do I hope this helped please do hit that subscribe button down below if you want to be a part of my channel and hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video or find it helpful and check out all my social media in the description box or I'll have my handle here on the screen if you want to just type it in and go check me out on Twitter or Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!